Jaybird MM. This recorder is very frustrating today, so I can only do a very short video. I know you're looking at the timer like, oh god, that's gonna be the shortest video I've ever seen in my life. It's only a quick team update, and you can get on with your day. That is it, because the recorder is not acting well today. It is not acting in my favor. It hasn't acted that way all day, so guys, I'm just gonna show you my new team. I added a couple players. It didn't boost up my overall, but it did boost the players up themselves. Like, every single time I put a player on the team, besides, like, a really good player or something, it's usually uh, about a... And then upgrade my Joe Horn or my... Uh, what's the other guy's name? Joe Horn or... Oh, Leo Collins, Leo Collins, the best pancakes guy from the superlative video. Yeah, D'Angelo, he's gone. I sold him, like always. Well, Joe Horn, sent up there 91 overall. Got two legends, that's awesome. Thinking about getting another legend wide receiver to replace Macklin or something, maybe. I've had Macklin since I got 10K passing yards. He was actually my first elite wide receiver. And then Old L came and all the motor guys. So anyway, guys, here we go. We got 90 Brent Grimes. Story behind this guy. I was waking up at 6.30, you know, 6.30 in the morning. The tired as hell. It's a Friday. I'm a junior in high school. Got things to do. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Got a little nasty cough around the house. But anyway, guys, I was just, I'm always doing pro pack luck. What that means is basically when I have no players I need to buy it to, like, I don't need a desperate need for a new, like, cornerback, linebacker, or anybody. Anybody on my team. I just opened up a couple of pro packs. So, I got this team right here. You know, I got a good team going. So, I don't need anybody new currently because I got a badass team. I don't care if I got an 83 overall safety. He boosts up my whole entire team by two overall on each player. Besides a couple, so that's pretty good. Well, with the fact that they had Quan Bolden, he adds another one, so that's three awareness. But anyway, I was opening a pro pack. I was like, okay, I got 7,800 coins. Let's just open a pro pack, see if I can get a profit. And wouldn't you know it, Brent Grimes wrote to the playoffs, Miami Dolphins cornerback, pro bowl, wife is a bitch. Grimes is sitting in the, in the pro pack. <clears throat> and that is cool. That is true, guys, about his wife. I think her name is Loki. She, like, got arrested at a Dolphins game and crap, and he's just... And most people realize, think he's a bad guy because of that, but it's really his wife, so... Loki Grimes, she's got, like, freaking 16K Instagram followers. I looked her up, and I was like, really? He got arrested at a Dolphins game saying his team's trash. His team is ass. Hates Ryan Tannehill. Jesus Christ, woman, calm down. Brent Grimes, if you hear me right now, please get a divorce. I'm just saying. She, she, she's only there for your money and your popularity. So anyway, guys, I want to make this short and sweet. Wait, did I miss anybody else? Um, <clears throat> oh, my Mitchell Schwartz. He's a 87 offensive tackle. Nothing special about him about his passing block, but I did pick him up for about. I don't know, maybe like 17K or something like that. Because the 85s usually run around a long way. And D'Angelo Hall and 85. Now it's like I threw earlier and I saw a Ted Ginn Jr. 84 Football Outsiders Elite card. That's the only 84 Elite card in the game. That was incredible. That's kind of weird because it's usually 85 Elites. But anyway guys, the Anthony Thomas 88 kick returner. He's got 92 speed, 96 agility. He's got a couple good or dang good stats, including his elusiveness, his juke move. Catch is kind of mishy. Kick return is kind of a little bad too, but, you know, juke move and all that will help get him a couple more yards than Jarvis Landry could. Even though Jarvis Landry was a bit better at catch and kick return. Then we got Devin Hester, Pop Maturda, of course, from another pro pack. You never know, guys, just... If you're a beginner and you have, like, I wouldn't say a beginner because then that'd be weird, but update your team. If you're, like, a freaking expert out there with a million coins, open, open a couple of pro packs. You never know what you're going to get. 
but I'm just trying to snipe elite players with 10k coins. So anyway, guys, that is it. I'm sorry if it's really, really short, you guys. It's probably like five minutes long for me talking so much about every other thing and every other thing in my life. But anyway, guys, road to the ring. I will hit you guys up tomorrow if I get any new players or anything. But anyway, guys, Sunday, I'm going to be doing, after the Pro Bowl is all over, I'm going to be going into my, my, uh, my sell items, sell items. And if there is a possibility I can get all these gameplay and collectibles before Sunday, I will save that premium pack for Sunday and my Road to the Rings for Sunday as well. And of course, I got a quick sell for 7,500 yards if Team Irving gets 125 more rushing yards, but I'm actually rooting for Team Rice, so it's also cool that I got the same collectible for Team Rice. So, if any of them get 125 more or more rushing yards, I mean, they got some good wide, wide receivers in there. It's not all passing. If you have Drew Brees in there, he's definitely going to pass. But anyway, guys, I'm going to stop this video right here. I am a little sick. I'm sorry about that. I kind of got a little sore throat. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have an awesome day. Watch the Pro Bowl if you want to. It's pretty cool. Nice uniforms and everything. I'm rooting for Team Rice because, you know, Jarvis Landry's on there and things. But Rayshad Jones and I forget his name. Uh, I know my penalty can't be in it, but I think oh it's a uh, Brent Grimes and um freaking uh, Jarvis Landry and Brandon Albert and Rashad Jones are on Team Irvin, so it's kind of tough because what if Jarvis Landry is being guarded by Rashad Jones? That'd be so freaking weird, guys. If that happens, that's gonna be the weirdest thing to ever see. My life. I know Brandon Marshall played back in 2012 or something for the AFC All-Star team. But anyway, guys, I'm going to stop talking. See you guys later. Peace.